one image with three completely different looks just by changing how we modify the light. That's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm using natural light for all three images and the only thing I'm going to change is how I modify the light. Hello everyone, this is Amrita Bordike and welcome to my channel. I wanna give you these tools so that you can have them in your tools box, ready to go. Even if you don't have a lot of fancy equipment, you will be able to create gorgeous professional looking images just with a few modifications to light. There are three elements that make a photograph, light, subject and composition. To keep it fair, I'm going to keep the other elements of subject and composition the same and the only thing I'm going to change is how I modify the light. So let's start with my own basic setup that is my go-to setup for still life and food photography. I love starting with this as my base setup and then making further modifications as and how I want the image to look like. This setup works well if you want to work with natural or artificial lighting. For the main lighting setup, I'm going to be using a scrim, a black foam board, and a light source lighting the image on one side of the image. I'm using a scrim to create soft diffuse lighting on my subject by placing it in between the sunlight and my subject. You can use any other diffusion material if you don't have a large scrim. I've often used white bed sheets or white curtains and I have been able to achieve a very similar look with that. As you can see, the shadows in this kind of an image are going to be more feathered and the darkness is gradually going to fade into light. You don't see any harsh lines or shadows anywhere in the image. This helps you create a very soft, beautiful lighting on your subject. The second light setup is to use hard light. I love these kind of lighting setups, especially for drinks, or even minimalistic type of food and product photography. They look amazing with these defined lines and contrasts. In this image, you can see that the shadows are more pronounced and are more defined compared to the previous image. For today's shoot, I had planned to bake and to use something for food photography, but I just didn't have the time yesterday. I thought it might be a good idea to use the props that I have and also so that you can see how the light affects different materials and different surfaces and how they will all look different. The other thing I wanted to use in today's shoot is tea so that you could see how the hard light will cause these beautiful reflections on the rest of the image and can enhance your composition if you frame it just right. The third light setup I want to show you is combining the first light setup with the soft light that we created and using flags to direct light onto a certain part of the image. I find that this kind of lighting 
looks amazing for dark and moody type of photography, especially if you don't want the entire photograph too dark. You want a little bit of light in that image, but still want that dark and moody look. This is a great way of achieving that. I love using this particular setup, especially if I want to create contrast in the image just by using light. For this last lighting setup, I'm going to show you two separate kinds of images. One is going to be the similar wide shot that we have taken with the previous two images. But the second image, I'm going to show you a more tighter shot. And I want to show you how I would utilize this lighting setup in my own photography, especially when I want to create dark and moody style photography, but still a little bit of light in there and using a lighter background. If you have seen my previous dark and moody photography videos, I always tend to use dark bases and dark backgrounds. But when I wanna create contrast in the image just by using light, this is my go-to setup. So to start with, we are going to recreate the first setup that we had created with a scrim in between the direct sunlight and the subject so that we have a nice diffuse light falling on the image. Now after this, I'm going to use a black flag or in my case, I'm using a black foam board. You can use one of those five in one reflectors and a black side of those, either one works. I'm going to use this black flag to reduce a lot of the light that will be coming in through the scrim. And I'm going to just let a little bit of light seep in into the image so that it lights just one part of the image that I want the viewer to focus on. In this first shot, you can see how the entire image is beautifully lit, but still has this gradation in between light and dark, giving it this moody look because we have blocked majority of the light falling onto the image from one side and we're letting it fall off from just this one gap and for the second image where we are focusing on just one subject you can see in the image that a beautiful contrast is created just by placing this flag in between the light source and the actual image. Now, if you have a nice cloudy day, you might not even need a scrim. The reason why I'm using a scrim today is because there's direct sunlight coming onto the subject. But if you have a cloudy day or if you're using artificial light with a soft box, in that case, you are not going to need a scrim. The scrim I am using for today's tutorial is from my five in one reflector. I believe this five in one reflector is almost five feet tall. I will put in links to all the products that I've used for this tutorial in the description down below. And also if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below and let me know. I will be more than happy to answer your questions about that. Here is a comparison of the three setups in a wide angle shot. And here are the three setups in a cropped or zoom shot. I hope this tutorial helped you gain a few more skills and added a few more tools to your toolbox so that you have these ready to go when you are at your next photo shoot. And you don't need a lot of fancy, expensive equipment for this. You can create different looks, different images just by modifying the light. Thank you so much everyone for watching and joining me today and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.